In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at some of the formatting and editing features that are maybe not so easy to find in Google Docs. The first one is your margins. Um, to change your margins, you need to go to File and Page Setup. Your margins, by default, are one inch all the way around, so if you wanted to change the top margin to two inches, you could do it right here. You will also find under the Page Setup menu the orientation, so if you wanted to switch your um, document orientation from portrait to landscape, you would do that here. Paper size, if you're using a different size paper, and then this is also where you would change the page color. Inserting images can also be done in Google Docs. It just works a little bit differently than it does in Microsoft Word. So I'm going to go ahead and put my cursor where I want my image to go. And to insert an image, I can go to the Insert menu and select Image. Now you have a variety of options for inserting images into Google Docs. If you have a webcam, you can take a snapshot. If you have found an image on the internet and you know its address, you can uh, insert it by URL. You can search through your web albums. If you have images saved into your Google Drive, you can go ahead and search there as well. You can also do an internet search right through the Google Doc itself. So you can search just a general Google search, you can search the life photos, and you can do some stock images. I'm going to show you how to upload an image that you already have saved on your computer. So I'm going to choose Upload. And um, you can either drag the image into this area here, or you can search for it. So I'm going to go ahead and choose an image to upload. And I have an image that I have um, selected. And I'm going to go ahead and double click it to add it to my document. Now it's come in uh, rather large, so the first thing we're going to do is resize that image. To resize it, you're going to click on it, and then using one of the corner sizing handles, I also like to hold down the shift key while I do this. Holding down the shift key um, keeps the image in proportion as you're resizing. I'm going to make this a little bit smaller so we can see what we're doing here. Okay, now that we've got the image resized, I'm going to go ahead and click off of it so that you can see what's happened. By default, when you insert an image into a Google Doc, it aligns with the bottom line of the text. So we can see here when I select the image again, in line with text. So the bottom of the image lines up with the bottom of the line of text. You have two options as far as word wrapping goes. You don't have all of the options that you would see in Microsoft Word, um, but you do have two options. So in line with text is by default, and if you want the text to wrap around the image, then you want to choose fixed position. So now you can see that the text is wrapping around my image. Um, moving an image in a Google Doc is not quite so easy as it is in Microsoft Word, meaning that you can't just click on it and drag it wherever you want. So my advice to you when you're using, um, when you're adding clip art or images to your Google Docs is to make sure that you put all of the text in where you want it, click your cursor where you want the image to go or as close to it as possible, and then insert the image. So do all of your text work first and then put the image into your Google Doc. So again, in line with text means that the image will um, line up with the bottom of the text. Fixed position means that the text will wrap around the image. The next formatting tool that I'm going to show you is one that I think is kind of underutilized, but it's a very useful tool if you know how to use it. So in this sentence, you can see that I have um, changed the font of the word quick. I've made it a larger size, and I've also made it bold. So let's say I also want to apply those same formats to the word lazy in this sentence. So to do that, I would have to select the word lazy, change the font, change the size, and add the bold, which would take me three or four clicks. There is a tool um, on your toolbar that will allow you to do that in uh, just one click. So I've taken the, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the formatting that I've applied to the word quick and apply it to the word lazy. And to do this, I'm going to use the paint format tool. So I'm going to highlight the word quick because that has the formats that I want to apply. And I'm going to come up here to my um, toolbar, my button bar, and I'm going to use this paint roller. And if you hover over the paint roller, you will see it's called paint format. What this tool will do is it will take any formats that you have applied to one area in your document and apply that to another area of your document. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the Paint Format tool. Now you can see that this tool looks like it's pushed in, so it means it's turned on. Once that tool is turned on, I'm going to come over and I'm going to highlight the word Lazy. And when I release my mouse, you will see that Lazy now has the same formats applied to it as Quick does. And I could do that in two clicks. So the Paint
create format tool is very useful as a very useful tool if you need to copy formats several formats from one place in your document to another there may be times when you're working with Google Documents and that you need to send a document to somebody else, but they don't have a Google account themselves, um, and they have requested that you send it in a Word format. Um, you can do that in Google Docs, and to do that, we need to take a look at the File menu. If we go to File and Download As, you can see that we have a variety of formats that we can download this document into. Uh, we have, can download it as a Microsoft Word document, an open document for Open Office a rich text format, a PDF document, a plain text, or a zipped HTML file. It's important to note that if you download as a plain text or a rich text format, you may lose a lot of the formatting that you've applied to the document. And no matter which one that you choose, um, except with the exception of a PDF document, you may lose some of the formatting. A PDF will generally keep all of the formatting, but remember that a PDF is not editable. So we want to download, download this document as a Microsoft Word document, so I'm going to go ahead and click Microsoft Word, and then I'm going to wait for Word to open. Now, depending on the settings that you have set up in your browser, um, Word may automatically open, or in my case, I have uh, my downloads turned on, and so the document downloaded here. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that to open up Microsoft Word. Okay, Word is open, and you will see that the document is now open. Uh, one thing that you will want to be aware of, um, remember when we were working on the Google Doc, we changed this font to Orbitron. Um, Word, my Microsoft Word, my computer does not have the Orbitron font, so it picked a similar or what it thought was a similar font. Um, but do notice that it did keep the other formatting as far as the bold and the um, size that we changed those two words to. So if it doesn't have the, if your computer doesn't have the same font, then it will pick one that's close to that. Um, and so now we have this document downloaded in Word, and we can make any changes to it that we want. Um, it is a Word document; we can save it locally on your, our desktop now we can send it as an attachment to an email um, we have full control